Be a voice for the youth in Queen Anne's County. Learn facts about opioids and other substances. Help spread the word about the dangers of opioids and other substances with members of your community and your peers. Earn service learning hours while teaching others. We're looking for new ambassadors from Queen Anne's County public and private schools, high schools and middle schools included. If you are interested in becoming a drug-free student ambassador, email Julie Kelly. Come be a part of the solution to the ever-growing opioid epidemic. The Living Naturally High Club encourages youth to focus on their goals and passions over the choice to use substances. Come learn about the dangers of opioid and substance abuse to get the facts on how to keep yourself safe. Meet other youth that have similar beliefs and want to take a stand against substance abuse. Clubs meet monthly at the Centerville YMCA, Centerville Middle School, Mattapique Middle School, as well as the Gunston School. For more details about dates and times, email Julie Kelly. Peer pressure is real and it's powerful. All of us have been in a situation where someone tries to persuade us to do something we may not want to do. Before you give in to peer pressure, make sure you know the facts, consequences, and choices that stem from your decision. When faced with a difficult decision, use the stop, think, go method. Stop and think about your choices and consequences and go to make the best decision for yourself. Addiction is also known as a substance use disorder. Addiction can happen to anyone. It's not a choice, it's a disease. If you or someone you know needs help with a substance use disorder, call 211 and press 1. Feeling stigmatized can reduce the willingness of individuals that are suffering from substance use disorders, aka addiction, from seeking help. Dependency on illegal drugs has been ranked the most stigmatized health condition in the world. If you or someone you know needs help with a substance use disorder, call 211 and press 1. Fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. Illegally made fentanyl is being added to other drugs due to its extreme potency which makes the drugs cheaper, more powerful, more addictive, and more dangerous. Illicit fentanyl is pressed into pills made to look like other prescription opioids. Fentanyl-laced drugs are extremely dangerous, and most people are not aware that their drugs are being laced with fentanyl. Fentanyl and other synthetic opioids are the most common involved drug in overdose deaths, even a small amount can be deadly. Over 150 people die every day due to overdoses from synthetic opioids like fentanyl. Drugs may contain a deadly level of fentanyl and you won't be able to see it, taste it, or smell it. You won't know it's there until it's too late. Counterfeit pills are nearly identical to actual prescription medications. Counterfeit pills resemble oxycodone, hydrocodone, Xanax, Percocet, Adderall, and other medications. A lethal dose of fentanyl is about two milligrams, which is equivalent in size to a few grains of salt. Fentanyl has a sedative effect that slows or stops breathing. Fentanyl is one of the most addictive substances. Fentanyl-laced pills are often mixed in with pills that do not contain fentanyl, so it may not be the first pill you take, but one shortly after. Your decision to not try a drug is one of the most important decisions you'll make. One pill can kill. Make a good choice. Caution. Fentanyl being mixed in with xylazine is an emerging threat in the U.S. Xylazine is an animal tranquilizer. It's being mixed into fentanyl in the U.S. Fentanyl laced with xylazine is being added to illicit drugs. You can't see, smell, or taste fentanyl or xylazine. It is increasingly being found in the U.S. illicit drug supply and is being linked to overdose deaths. Xylazine can be very dangerous, especially when it's mixed with opioids like fentanyl. Xylazine has been found in illicit drugs in the Eastern Shore. Know the facts. Make healthy choices.
Many young people today do not consider marijuana use a risky behavior. Contrary to popular belief, marijuana is addictive. Research shows that one in six people who start using marijuana before the age of 18 can become addicted. Marijuana use affects attention, learning, and memory and can impair athletic ability. Marijuana use in young people can also impact brain development and mental health. Over the past few decades, the amount of THC in marijuana has steadily climbed. Today's marijuana has three times the concentration of THC compared to 25 years ago. The higher the THC amount, the stronger the effects have on the brain. Although there is no research yet on how the higher levels of THC will affect the long-term risks of smoking marijuana, it is believed that the higher levels of THC will lead to increasing rates of addiction and dependency. Choose to be drug-free. Drugs are sometimes seen as solutions to mental health struggles, such as depression and anxiety. Sometimes youth turn to substances for relief. Substances don't change anything. There is hope and help. Call the Eastern Shore Crisis Hotline.